Good afternoon, everyone. I'm uh, happy to welcome you here in the Gaidar uh, Forum studio. According to our uh, tradition, the forum has set the tune uh, agenda uh, for other forums in Russia. It's a well-established uh, uh, traditional forum. So we uh, have invited today our esteemed experts. So I will introduce them a bit later. So we'll talk about how we are going to survive in the epoch of digital hunger. Uh, uh, meaning personnel hunger, uh, human resources hunger. So, which is, uh, we see that uh, in every country of the world, as uh, competition is running high for human capital, uh, uh, thanks to the uh, polling mass education and the relevant uh, uh, portal, about one third of uh, graduates uh, in Russia uh, decided to enroll in uh, IT. Uh, uh, specialities, uh, about 300,000 graduates will try to find their uh, profession. Not all of them will be able to overcome this barrier, of course, but uh, given the current uh, uh, personnel uh, shortages, uh, Dmitry Chernyshenko and the Ministry of Digital Transformation of the Russian Federation have uh, uh, announced the figure about one million uh, people, uh, the shortage uh, are needed uh, in this digital area. So according to forecast until 2027, uh, we'll have a shortage of uh, two million uh, uh, people in this area, which is a quite a challenge to the education system of Russia. In addition, we're talking uh, only of, about IT specialists and as regards the, the, those who are directly involved in the creation of uh, assets, but there must be also people who provide services for them and uh, operators. Uh, so the uh, digital assets, of course, do participate in economic restructuring, quality, accessibility of these assets uh, are a, mm, <clears throat> a cornerstone for our companies and for the sustainable development of our country. The, uh, uh, industrial uh, uh, companies of our uh, companies, um, um, the um, requirements, the needs of the industrial companies in such personnel is growing. And what is more, we can see that today there is a huge demand for their own designers and developers. So we've heard about the project that was announced at the end of last year uh, related uh, that is concern, concerns the ghost tech system that will require uh, a great a, a large amount of personnel of uh, that's uh, quite a challenge to the education system but there is another specific feature in Russia as every major company is trying to uh, create their own assets uh, uh, their own uh, to set up their teams uh, proceeding from uh, the considerations of economic and information security. Uh, we uh, buy less, uh, we tend to buy less imported systems because uh, there is more demand for import substitution in the uh, state uh, uh, run. Uh, sector because that's why the volume of such uh, demand will uh, continue to grow and there will be more requirement for personnel as we are sitting here together with our experts the people who are in their hands, we there is a future human resources of our country. Deputy Minister of Science and Higher Education of the Russian Federation, Dmitry Afanasyev, thank you. A rector of the ECMO University, professor, member of corresponding member of the Russian Academy of Science, uh, Vladimir Vasilyev. Thanks for uh, attending. Uh, Mireya, uh, Rector, Russian Technological University, Doctor of Science, a specialist in the area of automated uh, 
uh, management systems. Uh, Stanislav Good afternoon. Dear experts, dear colleagues, uh, in this panel discussion, we are happy to welcome you here. Thanks for coming. Uh, Dmitry Vladimirovich, well, possibly you are as a representative of the ministry. Probably you'll set the tone for our di discussion, what kind of measures uh, the ministry is going to undertake. Uh, and what's your take on that? What we are supposed to do in this area? Thank you for uh, this introduction. First of all, we are not looking at this as a problem, but rather as a, an our task, uh, the task which has, cannot be resolved so far, but we do see certain ways to deal with this uh, jointly with the Technopolis University, which uh, of which you are in charge, uh, so we are trying to deal with this, to address this uh, issue uh, jointly. First of all, as uh, uh, increasing the number of uh, budgeted uh, uh, vacancies uh, uh, in the in our universities, so next year will possibly overcome. Uh, the figure of 120,000 uh, 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 vacan vacancies is not only in digital economy, but also economists, a uh, wide area where, of course, the digital economy is of uh, prime importance. Well, that's as regards the quantity. The second aspect is a more a accurate forecast uh, about our needs uh, in the future. We knew, uh, we used to knew just uh, two kind of specialists, uh, software and hardware uh, specialists. But now this range is much broader from uh, fundamental in information uh, uh, theory up to application, applied sciences, uh, designers and developers, uh, those who, uh, the data analysts, uh, people who are engaged in the development of industrial system, the Internet of Things is not only about uh, households, but also the transformation of the traditional industry. So it's quite a wide, a broad range of uh, all uh, kind of applications for in different sectors. Uh, our task number three is uh, means that uh, the market is growing uh, fast, uh, so the education program in this connection of course, uh, needs to be developed. Uh, you know, we, we, we need uh, short-term programs as uh, 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 auxiliary education. And also, personnel training is another important component because the ever-expanding uh, graduation and training of specialists uh, in digital economy requires uh, uh, well-trained and uh, teachers who are capable of looking into the future. So we need to uh, uh, <clears throat> retrain and to prepare a great number of uh, uh, instructors, teachers, and tutors in different uh, sectors and in different industries. So these are the our key areas of development today. We are cooperating with uh, ANO Digital Economy Ministry of Digital Development, and uh, through looking at this industry, we understand quite well. Uh, the, it's basically in the tips of uh, our fingers how educational programs should work. So uh, now talking about the development of artificial intelligence aspect in this uh, sense, we have to uh, develop a digital module in um, AI acting jointly with the key companies and the key experts. Uh, that we can offer to uh, different universities. So the monitoring has revealed that different universities from agricultural to medical uh, have already started implementing these modules in their curricula. Thanks so much. Uh, well, indeed, uh, you've uh, mentioned everything and uh, the digital uh, projects uh, and uh, possibly you will add uh, some technologies, the um, engagement of teachers, uh, professors. Uh, uh, we know that you've been engaged in the restructuring of faculty and staff, but that's your internal kitchen, so to say, will probably 
talk about this as well, that will require serious uh, focus on personnel. Um, well, probably um, electronic uh, um, digital um, technology is not always the uh, uh, most necessary tool, but the question is how we can uh, stimulate, how we can provide incentives to these uh, companies. But it turns out that um, all countries are going to compete in the area of technology, so this technological disparity is uh, growing. So we have seen several uh, reports made by the world agencies. Uh, many countries uh, are concerned about this who work in the area of AI development. And we see that some countries, they uh, outpace uh, to a large extent other countries. So that to be on the frontier, the technology of AI, the China and the United States are probably taking the lead and they will determine many other industries. So for our country, the, this competition is not only the issue of a sustainable development, but also the quality of life, the quality of our lives, our survival indeed. So one of the grants uh, received by the Russian scientific school in the area of information technologies um, and engineering thought at the very beginning is, of course, ETMO, uh, which occupies, uh, if I'm right, uh, uh, occupies 74th in the world uh, uh, estimated rankings. Um, so that uh, instills some hope in us that there is a sense in uh, developing such advanced technologies. Vladimir Nikolaevich, what do you think? What technologies have to be developed today? Uh, and what kind of programs we have to deliver to our students what is the uh, where we should uh, focus and uh, at more whether we should uh, make our contribution into that or maybe we should uh, exert more pressure in this sense thank you roman alexandrovich one in fact the first question is possibly uh, requires a special session uh, for discussion. Technologies have to be developed. There are several types of technologies, those that are uh, only at the very initial stages, uh, the so-called innovation technologies. Uh, uh, also, there are technologies, uh, meaning where big money goes, uh, venture money. But in fact, uh, I think that all these technologies are united by one definition, data. If you look at the uh, data operation, I think that's uh, the key area. And then we can split it further into several subgroups, uh, subclasses. So uh, working with data, for example, cloud computing. Uh, that we are dealing with right now. But there are also peripheral uh, computing. So it's precisely the combination of cloud computing and peripheral computing uh, where we can achieve faster data uh, supply, faster data transfer to consumers. And number two, which uh, Dmitry Vladimirovich just mentioned about the Internet of Things, as we can see now that this trend is the combination of 5G Internet of Things, industrial Internet is one of the technologies. And uh, number two is uh, security. Uh, cyber security is not just a functional uh, cyber security, but the security for uh, uh, consumers, for users, a trust in the data that we received and uh, quite many technologies and uh, distributed register and so on and so forth. So that's another serious aspect. Technologies that are going, uh, that will probably release a great number of programmers, uh, standard programmers, the so-called 2.0 programming 
the codes will go over to another uh, stage, uh, the neural networks that will require machine learning, and that will probably uh, mean uh, the uh, shortage of uh, uh, programmers in another area. I can talk uh, about this uh, further, but all these trends, it's a key word that we work with data and uh, how we can uh, process and uh, handle this data. So the second part of your question, no doubt, is uh, regarding the uh, national security, as you mentioned, specific uh, well-being of a person if we work with data, if we are on the same frontiers, uh, which uh, we have. I do not quite agree that, uh, you know, regarding artificial intelligence, you know, I no doubt I've looked into the rankings uh, and uh, apart from the United States and China and uh, uh, the United Kingdom. I, uh, by the way, Israel has shown the most, uh, the fastest growth in this area. But that depends on how we are going to count these ratings and these rankings. So nevertheless, I'm, I'm sure that we are in the top 10, I mean the Russian Federation. So in this sense, uh, we have discussed this question. I think it's highly important to understand that we need not only what IT specialists say, uh, talking about those who can work with uh, uh, ready information systems or using the information systems in uh, different uh, industries, in different, uh, in different aspects on the market. Well, but we are talking about the developers who can be really independent, determining our uh, position. And so once again, Russia, in this sense, in this context, I have to apologize at this point. Our well-known companies uh, such as Yandex and Mail.ru, well, perhaps uh, it's only the United States, China, and ourselves and our country where we can uh, uh, sort of be brag about this. Uh, but uh, you know, the top developers. Uh, where they should be involved. That's what I mean. So no doubt, we can't say that no, right now we're just uh, shouting uh, and calling all the universe in Russia, let's train IT specialists and developers uh, who uh, will work in the area of national security. But I think this, uh, the right thing that is being done right now is the focus on the teams that are available, that exist and operate already, quite uh, numerous in different regions. I don't, I'm not going to list all of them. Uh, there are different, you know, representatives of regions in, in the studio here. And I believe that we have every chance uh, so as to be uh, among the top 10 uh, countries, uh, to be among the leaders in this area. What universities lack in this sense, in my view, uh, so far, we have learned how to compete, but we have not learned how to cooperate. I'm talking about uh, Atmo University, but I can also say a few words about other universities that we are trying to uh, keep. Uh, but in reality, in order to be uh, an open system, because an open system is more sustainable, more resilient than the closed system. So in this sense, uh, this cooperation model, let's call it a network model, a consortium or whatever, most important is to open up in reality. Not uh, just like a guru leader who is uh, bossing, uh, who is presiding over everything, and, and you are uh, just being driven by this. I think there are nuances here. So this kind of network-driven movements, cooperation models is what we lack at uh, this point, and we're just at the beginning of this pass. You mentioned Innopolis, by the way, there's good information. But once again, let me say, we started this 
work and we, we do see good uh, results. Uh, sorry for a taboo uh, word, for the tight word, it's a synergy. Uh, win to win, no losers. Everybody is a winner in this uh, effort. But we have to do this systematically on a large scale from the viewpoint of regulations uh, and uh, mentality, which is probably the most difficult um, aspect here so as to uh, bring these teams together and to understand the segments that we occupy. So I say, I believe that's a kind of a movement, um, institutional movement, uh, not uh, inside, not within the university. There are, there's enough of that. Uh, so I can uh, talk about the tasks they are facing right now. But I think that's probably uh, most important. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's been very interesting. And how do you think what uh, is our country able to do? Probably some initiatives, because you have listed almost all that we think about, that people talk about. Uh, and I'm very glad to be here at this round table because I found new things. But probably there is something else to be done. We have to stimulate uh, state cooperation, for example, the South. Uh, in South Korea, they, um, they promote companies which create this market. This market gives a uh, demand of competences, and um, the market um, of education responds. Probably, we should help to the employer and to the main consumer and main uh, creator of the technology market uh, and help him to um, get closer to the universities. Do you believe that this job is done as it should be done? Well, we know that you have departments of uh, different enterprises, different industries. No. In our university, we we don't have any departments, we don't have dean, we don't have departments, but uh, yes, we do have some centers, we cooperate with uh, local companies, with international companies, and it works fine. Uh, but I'm I, I, I totally agree with you, there are some instruments which we have to develop uh, to cooperate with the state, to cooperate with the state enterprise, and I, as I have the regulator by my side, I think that we should try to uh, should try some pilot projects, some uh, uh, and uh, I know that it's done in China, for example, they create the so-called virtual market. It, that means that uh, there is no market pool yet. Yes, last year there was a competition, center of technologies, and that's probably the first uh, try of what you want to have. Well, I think that we've learned to work with market pool when the market presses you and you try to respond, but uh, we don't have the push technology. And here we see this uh, tremendous gap. Yeah, they have that in China. So we have to try it with pilot project, pilot I think that we will speak to Dmitry Vladimirovich, to the minister, and we will try the uh, next trimester or uh, the, um, during the next six months, to, uh, we'll try to offer a pilot project and probably we will have the support on behalf of the ministry to do this technology push. It's, uh, it's been proactive and retroactive. Uh, well, there is a new instrument which was uh, approved by the president, by the prime minister. Uh, we will create in the best schools a new approach. Those schools, they um, will be 
structured uh, mm, uh, responding to a concrete uh, task proposed by um, big companies and the university will try to find an answer to the task proposed by a big company and it's very important to have among all this engineering services the IT service. Yes, we believe that one of the main line of cooperation will be the one of uh, digital technologies. And I think that our colleagues should participate directly in this competition. I don't know whether we win or not, but at least we will try ourselves. Any competition is a great stimulus. Uh, probably mm, some people uh, don't know this, but the biggest university in the country in the uh, IT sphere is the Mirea, uh, and its rector is here today. So, do you think, Stanislav, that the people who graduate from your university they are ready to fulfill those tasks that uh, the companies would like to uh, give them? Uh, do they respond to the needs of our company, uh, of our country? Uh, we've just seen one initiative, and uh, probably you'd like to have other initiatives from the stake. Well, in the first place, I would like to uh, say thanks to Dmitry, to the ministry for the work they do. Uh, increase the number of specialists in IT by 20 percent. It's a great job, which has to uh, be coordinated with the Ministry of Finance and other ministries, and this is the first time in the history that we do it. So uh, it's a great job, and we have to appreciate it. Um, so as to the things that we like today, uh, preparing for this uh, session, for this round table, uh, I was thinking, well, what do we need today? Uh, we don't have information about the specialists that we will need within four or five years, because we understand uh, that uh, the ministry is doing a great job, and to prepare a good specialist, uh, it's a long and hard uh, job. And we started today, but we need four or five years to have the first result. And it's very important to understand uh, what do the companies, what does the industry want from us. They don't want to recapacitate these uh, specialists, so we have to Yes, we have we have to ask them to think about their necessities, to ask to think about their uh, requirements to the specialists that we prepare. We know, for example, that uh, we can prepare our students for uh, the prep uh, for um, specific companies, and uh, I think that we could increase this number. But it's very important for us that the enterprises um, cooperate with us preparing application, preparing requirements, informing the Ministry of Science of Russia, probably co-financing the uh, education, offering some grants. Yes, uh, we will need some extra privileges, extra stimuli for the companies to attract young specialists. And on the other hand, you will receive uh, extra money for the development of the um, educational infrastructure. We want them to give any measures of support, because sometimes they offer social support, some uh, grants so for um, specific projects. Yeah. And I believe that uh, that would serve as an extra uh, stimuli for the uh, preparation of um, the specialists they'll need in four, five, six years. 
As to the question whether we prepare demanded specialists, uh, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a provocation. We know that your specialists, they go directly from the university to companies. Well, we have the classic scheme uh, with departments, and we have more than 50 um, departments that we have in Moscow, in the province of Moscow, and each year we have more and more, and that is a um, sign that the quality that we offer, the quality of our specialists is a good quality, and it fits our partners. Sometimes there are some problems because not always um, the private sector knows the uh, kind of specialist we prepare in our university. And I would like to thank you for the forum in uh, Annapolis. Uh, and there we met our colleagues. You know, now we've opened a recapacitation center for the specialists that use Russian software. And we've created uh, a laboratory. And in February, we will open it for the recapacitation of of uh, staff uh, for the development, the introduction, and the use of Russian software. And the forums, like the Indopolis Forum and other forums uh, organized by the Ministry of Education of Russia, it stimulates our organization to look for new solutions, to look for new cooperation. And one of the tasks that we have right now is to amend early, uh, every year the programs of uh, education of specialists. We do it every year. We analyze what's happening and do involve for the private enterprise prizes for your further clients. Yes, all our programs, they are coordinated with enterprises. Uh, if we open a new line of education, we always coordinate it with the organizations that require this or that specialist. And we analyze every year the list of specialities and jobs that we capacitate people from uh, for, and uh, we do the monitoring of the websites which hire specialists to see what do they ask from uh, the fresh from the university specialists. Uh, and there are many initiatives that are offered by our university. We have, for example, uh, an accelerator. There are some rules, and uh, our students, they can uh, submit an application for the creation uh, of a software program, of an application, of a product. And our university um, offers the financing because we understand that we should cooperate with the real sector of economy. Uh, yes, Dmitry, you've mentioned before the project start up as a diploma. Uh, yes, there is a new project that we've just uh, launched, is the development of uh, high technology entrepreneurship, and we are creating uh, startup studios or design studios which will do this job, uh, and I think that a big number of projects of startups that will have to do with IT, um, digital technologies, industrial technologies, and um, this experience will be very useful for us. Yes, and all what we do, we do thank to the support of our founder. For example, the accelerator, we began to work on it. Uh, uh, when we saw that the Ministry of Education and Science uh, would support our job, it's very important for us, it's very important to have the support of the Ministry, of the authorities, and also we are very, we, we need to see interest on behalf of the of our students. 
подготовки, которые не являются техническими. И мы предлагаем вторую компетенцию тем, кто учится не на технических специальностях. Я бы хотел спросить у обоих одну вещь. Каждый год у вас есть новые студенты, которые приходят из школ, и я думаю, что вы можете дать фидбэк on the quality of uh, those new students, but this uh, professional orientation in the school program, because I began saying that about 20% of uh, graduates from school, they want to go to IT, they know that they have high salaries there, that so do you think that you should go down, go to the system of schools to increase the number of pre-prepared uh, students? Or should, should we just um, give them education as mathematicians and uh, physicians, and after that they'll be ready to learn the IT? Uh, technologies. I think that it's a rhetorical question. Um, I'm sure that we should do it. If uh, the universities don't go to school, and there are different mechanisms, uh, it's not just um, inform them about talk to, talk to them, but there are many ways of working with schools, but I believe that uh, the universities should be there, they should look for their uh, students, uh, for those who share the values of this or that university, and it will contribute to the adaptation uh, of the fresh students to the university. It's not an easy adaptation, and if we reduce this time of adaptation and we should uh, look for it, uh, we also can explain to our future students uh, what we will give him, and I, 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 I would say that we, sh we have to give them from school, from ninth, ninth grade. I'd say that it depends. Those who work with video games, they can start from the fifth grade easily. The approaches, they can vary, and I don't have any information from our psychologist or sociologist. Uh, <coughs> since when we can do it, because uh, we don't want to spoil our children, but uh, we would like to give them some information. And I think that both in school and in the university, uh, it's very important to us to find a balance between the work in real world and in virtual world. And this, there, are, there are many tasks, there are many problems, there, are many work to, there is many work to do. Uh, what do you think, Stanislav? Three years ago, um, we opened together with the Department of Industry of uh, Moscow. We opened uh, Children Park Altair, and um, about 4,000 students go through that uh, park yearly. And we uh, brought the engineering to the school children. Uh, we, uh, all the classes that we offer, they are free of charge. I said that we need uh, children of the ninth grade, tenth grade, eleventh grade, because before they have a possibility to see it, uh, visiting museums, visiting some uh, fairs. But uh, since the ninth grade, they come to us and they start to visit, they learn. <laughs> and if they, if, if they begin at the fifth grade, no, and specialized 
education because when you have an unmotivated uh, school boy or school girl and students and you cannot prepare them you have to explain you have to go to school and you have to invite school boys and school girls to the university for long-term programs short-term programs uh, our uh, technological park operates with 12 big enterprises included Yandex, Mail.ru and others and uh, all the programs that we implement they are approved by our future clients by our future consumers and да. It's very important, and the many of the winners of uh, the uh, Olympics of Moscow are those who study in our long-term pro pro um, programs in uh, Techno Park. Um, many of them, unfortunately, go to other universities to eat more, in particular. Well, something was done wrong that uh, I would like to congratulate Ismo uh, with their work, but here we have the leaders of the education market, of the development market, but this year we've tried to offer a larger quote to regions. It wasn't easy at all. About 27 regions said that we, we aren't able to do it. And uh, there were no students who were choosing mathematics and informatics at the university level. And when we speak about this early involvement, I do support this idea because we have find different ways, but um, it's needed to interest them. Uh, what else do we do? Uh, so we also can work not only with the school uh, people, but also from professional uh, education. And we offer um, the transition is a transition from the colleges, specialized colleges, to the universities. Sometimes, with less time, they receive good professional abilities. And now we do uh, some experiments, and we are ready to offer new mechanisms to reduce their times of study uh, and we also uh, re reduce the requirements to the uh, prof to the professors with practical level they don't need to do any scientific work and they can work in the universities uh, as well as a uh, specialist in the theory we also have a reg uh, regional gap and we have a good universities in central and central part of Russia in some region but there are many um, uh, regional universities where the quality of uh, education is uh, much lower and we need to create a network for them to have this synergy effect uh, because we want students from the region come to Moscow and stay here for a semester or for a year uh, to learn from this university, leader university, it will help to improve the quality of education in regions. And probably the, the, there, is, there is another problem. Uh, the question is that uh, those guys who graduate from professional schools, they have to go for a year to the uh, army. So probably there is a way uh, to solve it. We also had another line of discussion, uh, military service, internal market, uh, regional universities. Why people from there go to Moscow, go to uh, St. Petersburg? Because the market for those specialists is in the center of the country. Although. 
During the pandemic, we saw that uh, online work is totally okay. We see the same thing in, in Nepal. Many of, the, uh, of our employees don't go to our uh, premises. Uh, e, and, and we are glad to see it because it uh, helps to distribute um, our personnel by different regions and distributes also the well-being by different regions. Uh, also, there is a line apart is uh, the work with the clients. Uh, and we have to explain them uh, how to work with our students. We have to work with the corporate uh, sector. So there is plenty of work. There are many projects and initiatives that um, offers uh, Ministry of Education and Science. ITMO and MIREA are the leaders in their field, and we've just seen our rankings recently, and we saw that Russia was going well and has a great potential. I had possibility to visit Stanford uh, several times and uh, Massachusetts Technological University, and as to the IT sphere, uh, people there study more or less the same disciplines. Uh, 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 probably they work more on gamification, on virtual reality, but the rest of the things, uh, computer sciences, software engineering, artificial intelligence and information security, uh, we have the same thing in this field, and that's why they are hunting a lot our specialists from Russia. And we have a great uh, potential for early prof orientation in techno parks, which help to find among school boys and school girls those who are interested in those disciplines. And we know that it's difficult to get in those universities, and it's also very difficult to study there. Uh, and and you said that those were two absolutely different levels, like militia and uh, honor guard. So we will need everybody because there is, there, is, there will be a competition between the countries in the technological field, and we have to guarantee the resources that our country needs. So we have to look for those resources, despite of all the demographic problems, and uh, we must try to stimulate uh, the increase of those specialists. Many countries perceive our country like a country of engineers, of uh, highly qualified mathematicians, physicians, uh, IT specialists, and engineers. It's something that uh, we hear a lot uh, in foreign countries. Many say that the most complicated things are done by the IT specialists from Russia. Thank you very much for a very interesting discussion. It's a great honor for me to discuss this. I'm full of new ideas. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thanks to the organizers of the forum, and I would like to wish everybody fruitful work and to all the enterprises to use digital actives to create new internal market and to advance. Thank you.